Hey everybody, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jane. Today I am going to be sharing my Bottega Veneta collection, which is a small collection, but I just love everything in it. Um, the first thing I'm going to do, however, is do a what's in my bag and switch bags, which is always fun. I, um, I switch bags several times a week. It's one of the fun things about having a handbag collection. And so today I'm going to be switching from my Louis Vuitton reverse monogram pochette Matisse into the Marc Jacobs mini traveler tote in leather, uh, true red leather. So let's see what I've got today in here. As you can see, it's perfectly organized. It holds a lot. This is literally one of my favorite bags ever. And I love carrying it, especially uh, in wet weather. It's awesome because there's no vachetta. Vachetta. Anyway, <laughs> so first of all, I've got this little envelope pouch that I recently picked up from Dress Up Your Purse. It's in this beautiful orange tangerine color. And it reminds me a lot of the Kirigami collection from Louis Vuitton, but this is significantly more affordable. Inside, I've just got a whole bunch of random cards, like my Costco card and punch cards and loyalty cards. And so that, they fit in there perfectly. And it also has this little, um, see if I can show a little clip. So if you want to, you could attach it to a bag like a little charm. So that's going to go right there. Next, the wallet I'm carrying this week is a Zippy Coin purse in black multicolor canvas from Louis Vuitton from the Murray Kami collection. One of my favorite wallet designs of all time. It zips around. The inside is hot pink. And I just keep a few cards and cash in here. It's nice and compact, easy to find everything, and I love it. In the next compartment, I've got reading glasses because I need them to read. <laughs> and this week, I am keeping my keys and coins inside of my Gucci Ophidia key pouch, which is one of my favorite SLGs of all time. I just got it. A couple of months ago and it's currently holding all my keys on the clip and I have a handful of coins as well. Now I've seen a few videos on YouTube where people are using this for just a little grab and go to put in a couple cards, keys, um, a lip balm, just a few small necessary items and then hold in hand which is a great way to use this. I haven't done that yet but I can see in the future doing that. And of course in the back pocket I've got my phone. And last but not least is the Damier Aben mini pochette. I always have a mini pochette with me. I have a small collection of these. They are just the best. This is one of the first SLGs I ever bought from Louis Vuitton back in 2007 I believe. And it just holds it's a catch-all. I just have a lip balm with SPF uh, Vanna Cream. I've got this cute little mini lipstick or lip balm from NARS that I just picked up at Ulta that fits great in there. And just random stuff. There's a little cough drop. And so it's just perfect. It's just the best a great piece to get. It's a shame it's gone up in price so much. When I got mine, it was $215. So, <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and grab the mini traveler tote. I got this last month. I was heavily influenced by uh, Pink Butterfly Girl and Minx For All, who showed the red one. I got this from Farfetch. And it is just absolutely gorgeous. I am not a really a red bag person. This is my only red bag, but it's just the most perfect cherry red I've ever seen. The size is perfect. It's very small, 
but packs a punch, <laughs> holds a ton because it opens up pretty wide. It's got beautiful details. The zipper is super smooth and the inside is fully leather lined in a nice, beautiful pink. Um, it does have an inside uh, slip pocket, which is fabric with leather trim. And so it just holds easily all the essentials. It does have an adjustable crossbody strap that I use, but actually I like to carry this handheld as well because it's just so comfortable and lightweight to carry. So I am gonna throw everything in here and have this as my bag for today. I've got the mini pochette and my wallet, the phone, which will go in a slip pocket here. My keys, the card case, and the reading glasses. Okay, so that easily holds it all. Uh, it all stands up and is accessible and easy to find because the inside is a nice light color. So there you go. The price on this is $375, which is just awesome for an all leather bag of such incredibly high quality. It's beautiful. I wish it had feet on the bottom, but because it's a mini bag, it doesn't bother me that much and uh, it's worth it. Another cool thing I wanted to mention is this long zipper tab and actually can tuck underneath this little loop here and there's a magnet to hold it in place if you want so it doesn't flop around. You can also use this for sunglasses or a scarf or something. I haven't quite done that yet because I'd be worried my sunglasses would just fall off, but it is such an awesome little tote. So this is my bag for the day. And let's move on to the Bottega Veneta. So I started buying Bottega Veneta in 2007. It was my first real uh, luxury brand after Louis Vuitton. I would say it's my first real leather luxury brand that I started buying back then. And I have sold a few pieces over time, but I've held on to a few as well that I love. These are all from the Thomas Mayer era. Um, so nothing from the new collection because it's not really my cup of tea. But I'm gonna start with the smallest to the biggest, like start with the SLGs, of which there are only two. <laughs> so first we're gonna start with uh, a key ring, which I carried my keys on for many, many years. It is iridescent ash metallic leather woven. I think it's uh, calf skin. It's a nice neutral, taupey gray color with a key ring. I had my keys on here for years and years and some I would say some of the finish is probably worn off. I mean after carrying it for like a decade that's definitely gonna happen but it's still in awesome shape and just amazing quality. So that is the first item and the next one is the exact same leather iridescent ash calf skin and it is a slim envelope wallet. Now this is the last long wallet in my collection. And I am probably never going to part with it because it is just a dream. It's buttery soft, inside is even softer. The organization is perfect. It's not too cluttered. It's just got a few uh, card slots right here on the back. And then it's got a full zip around uh, compartment, double compartment here as well for coins and cash. It's very, very soft. It's Bottega Veneta. <laughs> it's got a snap closure and it is from 2008 and I absolutely love it. It's a gorgeous metallic piece. So that is the wallet I have from Bottega Veneta. The next item is fast forward 10 years. <laughs> From 2018 and this is called the Lauren 1980 clutch. This beautiful clutch is based on a similar piece that was carried by Lauren Hutton, the actor, 
In the movie American Gigolo in 1980, she was carrying a red clutch from Bottega Veneta, who were definitely not as well known back then. Um, but that was her character's handbag in part of the movie. And they brought it back out um, to commemorate that in 2018 in uh, numerous colors. This one is a metallic in platinum and moutard. So it's kind of a gold and platinum woven mix. And it's really soft. I mean, it's just gorgeous. It has a metallic, or metallic, magnetic tab fold over closure. The inside is lined in suede. There is a zip pocket. The opening is a frame, which I really love. It just adds a little extra touch. It's got a plate, metal plate on the inside um, that says Lauren 1980 clutch. Now it says, yeah, the Lauren 1980 Bottega Veneta. And yeah, there's a zipper pocket inside, which contains a mirror with a leather backing to match. So this is a great going out clutch. It holds a lot. I mean, you know, it's got a pretty big, you could put phone, wallet, keys, lipstick easily in here with no trouble at all. And I don't, so I don't carry it that much because it does not have a handle, you know, or a strap or anything. You have to just hold it in your hand. And so I don't carry it a lot, but it just feels so good <laughs> when you do. So it does, it is a lot like a lot of the other um, pillow clutches or dumpling clutches that uh, they've been putting out at Bottega Veneta more recently. But I just love this one because it does really have that intrecciato woven uh, lambskin on it. And it's just gorgeous. Just a gorgeous, special, special occasion bag. Let's move on to the next bag, which is right here. This one is called the New Pyramid. It is from 2009. It is a beautiful Napa leather lambskin hobo. And the color is dark truffle, which is sometimes it looks brown, sometimes it looks purple. In the sun, it looks purple, burgundy, raisin. It just is a kind of a chameleon type of color. It's really super gorgeous. Um, it's very comfortable on the shoulder. You can see the woven shoulder strap, and this little ring is one of the only pieces of hardware. That's another thing Bottega Veneta is known for, at least this era, is very little to no hardware because, you know, that way the bags can stay pretty lightweight. It's lined in suede, and I think it's a pigskin suede. And yeah, it's just, it weighs like nothing. So when you put your things inside, which I will demonstrate, so I'm gonna add a mini pochette and my keys in here, and then zip it up. You get this slouchiness that is just hugs the body, is so comfortable to wear, it's really squishy. And that's what I love about Bottega Veneta. That's what made me fall in love with this brand back in 2007, was this really soft, drapey, squishy, slouchy style that they had. And uh, so yeah, this was the second Bottega Veneta bag that I ever bought. It's a new pyramid. And it's just gorgeous, in great condition. Obviously, you have to take really good care of these bags because they are super soft Napa leather, which means it's just going to be a little more delicate, but it's not that hard to take care of your bag. Just don't set it down on the ground very often. <laughs> so, yes, that is the new pyramid. The last bag I'm going to share with you today is the Medium Campana. It is in Ebano, which is a dark chocolate brown. This was the first Bottega Veneta bag I ever bought in 2007 from the boutique in San Francisco. Um, it is it has held up 
incredibly well. It is, again, super lightweight, comfortable to carry. I wouldn't say this holds a lot because, you know, it is, it, it says it's the medium campana and there is a larger one, but I felt the large was too big for my frame. This is like the perfect size for me. Um, the inside is a beige suede and then there's this clip that attaches to the ring on the other side. And then there's also a magnetic closure. So it just closes up on both sides like that. It looks like that and you wear it. I usually wear it on my arm. You can also obviously carry it on the shoulder. It just goes right up against you. It's so comfortable. And then when you add your items, let's see, I'm gonna just throw in my keys again. Mini pochette and this Bottega wallet. And then it just, it just hangs right down. It is just beautiful, beautiful slouch, beautiful drape. And it's just a gorgeous bag. Still smells amazing after 14, uh, 14 years. Highly recommend. <laughs> um, it's a great bag and a great time for this brand, I thought. That's what attracted me to it back then. And uh, yeah, so if you are interested in Bottega Veneta, but maybe you don't really like the newer styles or they're just way out of your price range, these are available uh, on the pre-loved market um, quite a bit. And I would recommend going for Ibano. If you can find that dark brown, it is just one of the most beautiful dark browns you'll ever see. The blacks are also gorgeous. They're black leather woven bags like the Veneta, the ball bag, the um, Kabat, which is their really higher end tote, which was um, had no lining. It was woven inside and out. It's a gorgeous tote. Just look around for those if you're interested in this brand, but maybe uh, not as interested in their current styles. So that about does it for today. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I would love it if you would give this video a thumbs up. And if you would subscribe and hit the notification bell, I actually have quite a few videos coming up uh, at the end of this month. And so if you want to check those out, um, so that'll about do it for today. Hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in my next video.